Ava, and today we're going to be looking at some different clapping rhythms with eighth notes and eighth breasts. Let's get started! Making Music Melodies Let's look at clapping rhythms with eighth notes. In order to understand this video, you should watch our clapping rhythms introduction video, our hardy, harder clapping rhythms video, and our eighth notes and eighth rest video. But if you're still confused, that's okay. Make sure to watch Let's Learn All About Notes, whole half and quarter, Let's Learn About Rests, whole half and quarter, and eighth notes and eighth rests. Also, all of those videos will be on the kindergarten through second grade playlist, which will be linked in the description below. But today, we will be learning how to read rhythms with eighth notes and eighth rests, counting the beats in each rhythm, and clapping along to different rhythms. Let's jump into it. So remember, these are some refreshers from our clapping rhythms introduction video. You must clap on the beat and each group gets four beats. And let's look at some note values. The whole note gets four beats. The half note gets two beats. The quarter note gets one beat. The eighth note gets a half beat. And a pair of eighth notes gets one beat. A pair of eighth notes is two eighth notes. So one half plus one half equals one. So let's look at example one. We're gonna, we have a step-by-step -step guide on how to properly clap. So, first thing we're going to do is write out the counts. As you can see, here are the counts. We use this to help us follow along with the metronome and so we can count in our head how to do this. Also, the metronome is known as beat machine, if you've seen that video. <laughs> so now, we're going to start clapping. I'm going to set my metronome to 65. That accented note is beat one. So we're going to start once we hear it again. Three, four, one, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. That may have been a little tricky because this was counting in quarter notes. We're going to change the subdivision, big fancy word I know, so that you can hear the eighth notes. So we're going to hear this instead. So once it goes through again, we're going to start. One and two and ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Good. I know it seemed a little complicated, but I hope that that made it easier for you to follow along. Let's try example two. So we're going to write in the counts like we did last time. And remember, do not clap on the rests. And if you remember from our other videos, the rests are the little black squigglies. Those are called quarter rests. So Let's get into it. And we're going to do the same tempo, 65, and we're going to keep it on single subdivisions. One, two, three, four, just like that. So we're gonna wait for it to go through. One, two, ready, go. One, and rest. Three, four, rest. Two, and three, four, one, Rest, three, four, repeat. One and rest, three, four, rest, two and three, four, one, rest, three, four. Good. I hope you guys understood that. But just to make sure, we're gonna go a little bit slower. We're going to go down to 50. So it's gonna sound like this. Three, four, just a little slower to get it in your hands. Make sure everyone can clap it. So we're going to start once it cycles through again and everything will work out. One, two, ready, go. 
one, and rest, three, four, rest, two, and three, four, one, rest, three, four, repeat, one, and rest, three, four, rest, two, and three, four, one, rest, three, four. I hope that was a little easier for you guys to understand. So now let's go on to a harder example. So we're gonna go through our checklist. We're gonna write out the counts, which are on the screen, and then we're gonna start clapping. But remember, the little hat, top hat looking symbol is where you do not clap along with the rest that looks like the number seven. So don't clap in those two spots because they are rests. And when there's a rest, we, well, we rest. <laughs> so let's go through it. And we're gonna do this one at 65. Although it's a little harder, I think you guys will be able to understand it. And if you can't, make sure to look at the other examples that we went through. So we're gonna cycle through it and then we'll get right into it. One, two, ready, go. One, rest, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, rest, repeat. One, and two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, rest, rest. Good job, everyone. You guys are doing so well. So today, we learned how to read rhythms with eighth notes and eighth rests. We counted the beats in each rhythm, and we clapped along to different rhythms. And if you are still confused, because this is a very hard concept, make sure to email us at makingmusicmelodiesinfo at gmail.com for any help. And if you want some more help, you can join our Zoom calls by emailing us at the same email to request a link. I hope you all learned a lot today about different clapping rhythms. Like I mentioned, if you have any questions, make sure to email us and join our Zoom calls. See you next week. Bye!